before we start I would like to give you a short overview of what we will learn in this video. So first of all I will show you how to choose the right skates and how to put them on. Then we just take a look at the protective gear we should wear. Next we will learn about the proper posture to skate. After that we will learn our very first steps on inline skates. And lastly I will give you an outlook about important things to learn skating and what we will learn in the next videos of my inline skating beginner series. So let's go, let's learn skating. So, how to choose the right inline skates? Well, first of all, we should think about what kind of inline skating we like to learn. Would we like to learn simple fitness skating, free skating, slalom skating, urban skating or speed skating, we should choose ordinary fitness or free skates. But would we like to learn aggressive inline skating, we may already choose aggressive inline skates. Because in my opinion, the most important thing to learn any of these kinds of skating is to master the basics of inline skating. And to learn all of the basics, you don't need a pair of very expensive or specified skates. Moreover, your skates don't need to match the kind of skating you like to learn, with the exception of aggressive inline skating. Then as soon as you have mastered the basics of inline skating, it's time for your very first specified pair of inline skates. And this pair, your second pair of inline skates, should match to the kind of skating you like to do. It can also be nice and expensive. Because to have fun and to have a good progress, nothing is more important than good fitting skates with good components. Good, I think this is a good time to take a look at how we can recognize good fitting skates and how to put them on in a good way. First of all, with straight legs we may slightly touch the front of our skates. But with banded knees we shouldn't touch the front of our skates. So with banded knees we should have a free space about 1 cm or a little more between our toes and the front of our skates. Furthermore, our feet shouldn't be able to slip in our skates. And lastly, our skates should have a tight fit but not too tightly, because we should avoid having any hurting pressure points while standing in our skates, as well as when tilt them towards the inside or outside. By ordering inline skates through rep shops like mine, I highly recommend taking note of the relevant size tables or before buying, just contact your dealer. At last, if we put on our skates, first we should lace them up, next we should close the straps and afterwards we should close the buggles. Let's take a very short look at the protective gear we should wear for inline skating. There I know sometimes it's just more comfortable to wear less protective gear. But now I'll show you which gear you should wear to prevent injuries. First of all, and the most important part of the protective gear is the helmet as well as the knee pads. I myself wear very special knee and chin protectors, but that's not necessary. It's still good when you have ordinary knee pads, they don't slip. Furthermore, you should use and wear wrist guards. There are some different protectors, simple hand protectors and complete wrist guards. I recommend complete wrist guards. Then there are elbow pads. They are the most unpopular protectors, but they are also good to prevent hurting injuries. And lastly, there is the helmet. Here I recommend a skate helmet, not a helmet for biking. Because skate helmets have a much better protection, especially for the back of the head. Well, there are also other protectors, but these are the basic protectors we should wear to learn inline skating. More about protective gear, we will learn from one of my other videos I have linked in the description below.
Next, if we have put it on our skates and protectors, it's time to learn the proper body posture and foot position for inline skating. First, it's very important that we keep our skates next or better to say parallel to each other. In addition, we keep our skates apart, one skate more further than the other one. Because this helps a lot to maintain balance and avoid getting stuck on pebble stones or others. Good, as soon as we are able keeping that foot position, we also keep attention to our knees and upper body. Because it's very important to not fall backwards, we try to push our knees over our toes, as well as to keep our head over our toes and knees. Okay, we are doing right if we look down and see that our knees cover our toes. But please be careful to not bend your knees only by stretching your butt 